Hello, welcome back to another video with Amulani. I am learning the new season of TFT Fates. It's actually second half of the, the Fate season. Uh, it has a lot of the same champs, but it also has some new ones. It's got some new uh, origins and, and traits. And if you are new to TFT, uh, let me just go over some of the basics real quick. So every game of TFT is going to be the same, where the up top you'll notice uh, round 1-2, um, finding two NPCs. Uh, every round is going to be the same. Uh, every game starts with that carousel where you get to pick a champ with an item. And then you get uh, three rounds of NPCs where they drop these loot orbs. Now the loot orbs can be white like this, or blue like this. If you get a yellow orb, they're rare orbs, uh, and you can get some of the uh, better stuff from them. So the loot orbs can drop gold, they can drop champions, or they can drop items. Uh, and if you get the yellow orb, then it's going to be the, the more expensive champions, etc, uh, etc. Et Alright. Uh... Siphoner. Okay. Uh, every game also has this shop. The shop is always the same in every game where you've got these five, uh, it can have five different cards. Now the shop at the end of every round will rotate uh, and, and refresh and give you new cards unless you hit this lock button. So if there's something you have in the shop but you don't have the gold to buy it or you're trying to save up gold uh, and you want to just lock it for the next round, uh, you can hit lock and it, and it will keep uh, your current choices without changing. And every uh, game is the same in terms of like where things are located. So here, uh, uh, right above the shop, you have your gold, and it'll tell you where you're getting gold from. So you've got uh, passive income, which right now is only two gold. As the game goes on, that increases to a maximum of five per round. The interest, I'm getting zero interest per round right now. Uh, the interest is when you save up to 10 gold, you get one interest per 10 gold. Uh, so at 50 gold, that's the maximum interest, you'll get an extra 5 gold every round. I do tend to like to save up for uh, 50 gold before I do anything else. You know what? And I think we're just going to get up to... So now we're at 10 gold, and when I scroll over it now, it's showing the interest of 1. And then the win-loss streak is located right here next to your gold, which I'll explain in just a sec. So you'll notice at the top that now the rounds have changed, and for the rest of the game, and this is true in every TFT game, uh, it will it will look like this where, where it'll have the seven. So you'll have uh, the five rounds of PvP that are broken up by this middle one is the carousel. That's where you get to pick a champ that has an item. And then the, the last one is an NPC round where, where you get the loot orbs. Um, and these NPC rounds are, a, in the early game, are a bit of a, a check, so to speak. And I'll explain that when we get to the Krugs. Okay, so back down to the win-loss streak. So uh, that doesn't start happening until you're actually into the PvP round. So those, fir those first three NPC rounds, uh, they, the win-loss streak doesn't count. Uh, so if, if you win two to three rounds in a row, you'll get plus one gold uh, per round. Uh, four, if you win four rounds, then you'll get plus two the next round, and then five plus, you'll get three gold. Uh, th the same is true for the lost streak. Uh, so that's when you're scrolling over the gold, that's what, that's what it's getting. Now, I have a win-loss streak of one. Uh, you have to get two wins in a row before uh, you'll, you'll get the streak, so I'm not going to get that extra gold unless I win this one. Now, over here on the left, you'll notice I'm still level 3. Um, you get to have one champion on the board per level that you are. And the level that you are affects, uh, you'll notice kind of the, the color and the different percentages. It affects, um, so right now at level 3, there's a 75% chance to get a white card or a one gold cost card in the shop. Uh, as you level up, as you can see, now we have a, actually have a chance of getting some blue cards, and we did get one. Give me a sec here to figure out what I'm doing. Um, eh, sure. Um, and 
so your chances of getting the better champs. Uh, now, in, in base gold cost, typically uh, the one gold costs are the cheapest. Uh, they're the easiest to get up to three star. And how you do that is uh, when you get three of them, uh, they combine into a two star. And when you get three two stars, they combine into a three star. So you need nine total of one champion to get a three star. Uh, now, the one gold costs are the easiest to get there. They're also the weakest um, of the three stars. Uh, and it incre they increase uh, as you go up. The, the absolute best three stars are going to be, be your yellows, uh, but it, it, they cost five gold a, a pop for just one. Uh, so it's 45 gold to get a three star on the yellows. Okay, so now we're back in the carousel round. I will say this. Uh, that needs to see large rod, which is that pink circle thing, is the absolute, seems to be the most necessary or wanted item, um, hands down. So if you have a chance to get that, I would go for that. And I would use these carousel rounds to go for items that you want rather than champions. But if you're just learning TFT and you, and you don't know what the different items and champions are, um, you know, don't worry about it too much. I would go for the double crit gloves. Um, that combine into... I'll, I'll, I'll explain that later. Okay, so now I'm at 30 gold, and I'm getting uh, the 3 interest because I'm at 30, so I get 1 per 10 gold. So I'm doing really well. Now, I will tend to save up for 50 gold before I spend over here on the left. Uh, you can spend your gold uh, in the shop and then you can also spend it to buy experience, and you can spend it to refresh the shop. Uh, I tend to wait till I'm at 50 gold where I'm getting that the maximum, the 5 gold interest, before I do any uh, experience or refreshing. Uh, other players do things differently, you know, so it's just kind of your call. Ooh! Now this is something new that I've noticed, and it doesn't happen every game, but uh, after that carousel round 2-4, sometimes you'll, you'll get a loot orb, and everybody gets the same thing. Where and this one, so it gave me an item and a magnetic remover. So use on a champion to unequip all items. Oh, cool! And everybody in in the game got this. So so you're not uh, you're not alone. So I'll explain what I'm doing with the shop here in in, in a sec. Um, so for the experience this is uh, what levels you you do get two free experience every round and then if you want to level faster than that then uh, you buy it with gold uh, you get four experience per four gold spent um, and it, if you scroll over it, it, it at the bottom it says it's eight gold to level to five or to level five so it kind of tells you how much to gold to get to the next level and then uh, the bottom one you refresh the store and it just gives you new new champions is what happens. Alright, and now uh, the Krugs. So I'm going to do it and then explain what I'm doing here. Okay, so the Krugs, I always, always, always uh, spend 4 gold to get to level 5. Um, I Before that, I don't buy any experience. Uh, and all you have to spend is 4 gold to get to level 5 for the Krugs. Uh, the reason being is they're kind of tanky, uh, they also hit hard. So if you don't have a whole lot of, of 2 stars on the board, uh, like I only have one 2 star on the board, uh, they can be kind of tricky to kill. So I always uh, buy to get up there. Alright. Alright, and now to explain what kind of what I'm looking at and how and how I'm learning this. So with the with that uh, the fates mechanic is still the same in the second half of the season, uh, where you can buy uh, they'll sh the, they'll show up as a chosen champion in the store. They are two star. Their gold cost will will be the equivalent of their two star version, uh, and you get plus one to a trait. Uh, and the you'll notice that my Nasus has that pink circle under him on the board, and you'll notice over on the left I've got a pink. Um, next to one of my traits. That's how you know which one is your champion, uh, or uh, and which uh, trait he got the plus one for. 
Now, once you buy a champion, uh, another one will not appear unless you sell your champion, which, which a lot of people, uh, that is one strategy. It's not a strategy I typically uh, go for when I'm first learning it. Uh, and when I'm learning TFT, I like to, I'm going to focus on that. So I right-clicked on Nasus to get this bar to pop up. So he is Divine and Siphoner. So those are the traits that I'm looking for in the shop. Uh, so it, the keywords you'll see, like Warlord Keeper, Exile Duelist, Enlightened Duelist, I, I'm looking for Divine or Siphoner is what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm going to just build around him, I'm going to build items around him. So what he does, uh, up top you'll see he's two star, uh, if, if I sell him he'll sell for three gold. Uh, if he's got hit points, he's got mana, and when he's, he gets to 60 mana, he casts his spell. So Nasus deals 600 magic damage over 5 seconds to, en to the enemy with the highest percent health, slowing their attack speed and movement speed. Oh, he died. Um, I have one on the backboard that I right-clicked to get back to this. By 50% for the duration. If you'll notice at the bottom of the damage, there's 400 that, and 850 that are grayed out, and the 600 is in white. Uh, the 600 is what he gets for being white, or the 2-star. Um, if he were 1-star, he'd get the 400. If he were 3-star, he would get the 850. So, th so that's kind of the difference there. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and re-roll a little, because I want to try to get him up there. So, Siphoner, nice. And, and we'll look at him in just a second. We'll look at what Siphoner does in just a sec. I just want to finish rolling here. Okay. So Siphoner, what it does is all allies heal for some of the damage they deal with spells and attacks. Uh, with the, the two-piece, it's 10% for allies, 40% for Siphoners. Uh, if I get the four-piece, uh, then it'll be then I'll get the, the part in gray. But so that's why I'm looking for Siphoners, and eventually uh, I will probably sell Vladimir, uh, because I, I don't need to have four, uh, five Siphoners, uh, although it's a possibility, so I may, may or may not keep them, we'll see. That those needlessly large rods, they just go quickly. Oh, 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 oh. So, I will have a, a choice to make uh, with that needlessly large rod. If I can get two of them, that'll be really, really good. Um, but so I, I'm gonna have the choice of making my spells able to crit or uh, give my guys healing based off of the damage they do with their spells. So we'll just kind of see. And for right now, for right now we're gonna keep him. Um, actually, you know what? We will just do the healing. And I'll explain that item in just a sec. Let me re-roll here. Siphoner, Siphoner. And she's on the board. Alright, and then the other uh, one that uh, Nasus is, is Divine. Upon attacking six times or dropping below 50% health, Divine Champions remove all crowd control and ascend, taking 45% reduced damage and dealing 45% bonus true damage for the duration. Now at the two piece it's only two seconds, so it's not like, or three seconds, it's not a huge deal, but every little bit helps. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and, and level up here. All right. Now, uh, I grabbed Vladimir because he's giving me the Siphoner bonus. So let's go ahead and read Vladimir here. He also only has 60 mana before he casts a spell. He deals 600 magic damage to his target. All nearby allies are... healed for 50% of the damage to... Ooh. Okay, we're not going to get rid of Vladimir. So he does extra healing. And we're not 
we're not going to keep Kindred. I was just grabbing Yumi, uh, and Kindred gave me the spirit buff, was all. Yumi, uh, what she, well, here, first. So, this is the NPC at the end of round three. Uh, they are assassins, so they jump to the back line, uh, and they get extra crit. Uh, so they will take out your back line. Uh, so I typically, if I have a back line, I will just move them to the front, uh, so that, so that they're, uh, not just automatically killed. Uh, you can kind of, if you want, test your de defenses against, you know, there are assassins. Uh, some people go assassin builds. Uh, just kind of depends. instead for Mythic. So I grabbed Yumi. She has uh, she dashes to the lowest health ally, healing them for 30% of their missing health and granting them 30% attack speed for five seconds. She then repeats this on the farthest ally. So she she's just some extra healing. She's also Mystic, which gives my guys uh, I do have the two piece bonus, so they're getting 40 magic resist. So it's just kind of giving them some extra survivability. All right, so I want to re-roll and finish getting. my Nasus if I can before I hit level 7. There he is. Nice. So Yumi only has 40 mana. Uh, the item that I put on her um, after they cast their spell, their, their mana is set to 20. So it's basically, she's just casting that really fast. level 7. Now I'm going to wait before I finish any of these items. Um, I want to see what... So round 4, the carousel round and the NPCs at the end of the round, it's the last round where you're getting these half items that build into full items. So I want to wait to see what I get before I kind of finish building my items. Go ahead and separate the Yumi's. And I'm going to dump a little bit into experience. So, as you can see, now I'm level 7. Now I have a chance at the purples. I also have a 1% chance to start seeing the yellows, which are the 5 cost champs. Um, and you'll you'll notice if I scroll back over my siphoner, there is a purple and a yellow siphoner. So it's a good thing that, that I'm up there because now I'll have a chance of seeing them. I'm still not going to reroll a lot um, because I do want to get the yellow siphoner um, and I want to get that percentage up. So I'm going to be dumping into experience until I get to level 8. Possibly until I get to level 9. We'll see. Alright. And I'm going for that needlessly large rod. Now, Orn is kind of a neat one, too. Um, and he can get, give you extra items if you get him early, so he's actually really neat to get on this first round. But... Did not get him. So I am still looking for a siphoner. I'm actually going to do a little bit of rerolling here to see if I can get my four piece siphoner. There it is. Oh. And we are going to give. 
give her a Morella Namicon. Which will reduce the healing on other teams when she casts her spell. Spend a little. So this item to unequip items uh, from your guys, uh, it, it's really good, I think, for newer players, uh, or if you don't quite know what your build is in early game, because uh, you can build your items on a champion and you can always move them later. Um, for me, I, I kind of know what items I want to go where, uh, so, so this one I may or may not use, we'll see and I'm actually kind of getting the items that I want on the champions that I want them on. So, uh, for me, I may or may not use it. We'll see. But, so that orb, after round 2-4, uh, it can drop different things besides this. Uh, and, and that seems to change between, you know, and, and varies between game to game. And not every game is going to have one. I've had a couple games that didn't have one. Um, but I've had one in most of the games I've played in the second half of the season. All right, do one more round of experience here, and then I'm going to re-roll a bit before I hit seven. Uh, see if we can't get a few more Vladimir's. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, read. So th this is the NPC round is the last round where we're getting those half items. Um, and I'm going to read the siphoner. So now I've got the four-piece siphoner. So uh, all allies will heal for 25% of damage they deal with spells and attacks, and it's 100% for Siphoners. So the Siphoners are healing themselves quite a lot. So if you're playing against Siphoners, uh, something that you really want is some anti-heal. Okay. Ooh. And I'll explain Morgana and her items in a sec. Uh, I need to do some rerolling here. There's a Yumi. Okay. So we'll go ahead and read Morgana now. Uh, she gets... So she's enlightened as well. Uh, and the, the Aurelia is giving us both the enlightened and the divine buff on two of our Siphoners. So, so Aurelia is a really good pick. Uh, when... Morgana hits 120 mana, she casts her spell. She hallows the ground beneath a random target, dealing 288 magic damage. Two enemies over five seconds, shredding their magic resist. And 40% of their attack damage. Uh, and then I also gave her the Morella Namicon, so her spells are also applying, uh, reducing the healing that they do, as well as doing extra damage. Um... Siphoners must be... I must have some competition because I'm not seeing them. I think next round we better get up to 8. Before we do any more rerolling. executioners. Uh, well, that's alright. I still took uh, fourth place, which is considered winning in TFT. Uh, the winning applies for, uh, if you're doing ranked, you get uh, you'll gain LP for top four. Uh, you'll lose LP for bottom four. Um, and the winning also applies uh, if you do get a pass in TFT. Uh, you get I'm not sure if you get more experience in the actual TFT pass, but if you get the like the LOL pass where you get the tokens, uh, the the win accounts for for the you, um, you get tokens for the win, uh, more tokens for the win I believe than the loss in TFT. So top four counts for that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up it. If you enjoy what I'm producing, uh, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you for the next video.